Hello guys, this is Panos from unixmen.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to browse around the terminal. First of all, let's see where we are. PWD stands for Parent Working Directory and it shows you the current working directory. Where are you right now? So I am inside uh, home slash Dr. Paneas. I'm inside my home directory. Who am I? I'm Dr. Paneas, so I'm inside my home directory. Let's see if there are any files here. There aren't. The ls command stands for list or listing the files all or folders inside the current working directory. So there are any files or, or folders here. Let's create our first folder. I'm using the command make dir mkdir. Uh, let's say our folder name folder. ls again and as you can see here, here is my folder. Let's create another one folder zero folder three ls here is our folders ls slash uh, ls dash la l stands for long listing and a stands for all meaning that uh, using the all uh, you are able to see all the files including the hidden ones starting with a dot. As you can see here there are some hidden files starting with a dot and in some cases these files are used for configuration purposes. Okay now as you can see here the long listing provides you with the owner of the file or the folder okay with the group owner and it tells you that this is a directory because the first bit in the permission area here uh, indicates the that folder 3 is a folder folder 2 is also a folder and folder here is also a folder okay so let's change directory and go into folder so I'm using the command CD which stands for change directory followed by the name of the folder I want to go into and now I'm inside folder which is inside my home directory I can also go back using CD and two dots which stands for go back or move up or move back one level in your directory structure and now I'm back to home Dr. Panes and this is my folders LSAL okay now let's go back to folder CD. I'm pressing F and now I'm going to press the tab key for auto completion instead of writing all the letters. Okay. So let's create a file. VI file press I key line 1 line 2, line 3, line 4, line 5, line 6, line 7, line 8, line 9, line 10, line 11, line 12, line 13, line 14 and finally line 15. Okay, this is my file and its contents, colon WQ exclamation mark for save and exit 
and now I'm able to see that there is a file here lsal here is a file my file and if I want to see its contents I can use the cat file the concatenation command and I can see all the contents of the file the whole content of the file or tail file in which I'm able to see the last 10 lines of the file or head file which I can see the first 10 lines of the file okay so uh, what else let's rename our file our file is named file <laughs> and let's name it uh, new file so in Linux when you want to rename a file you are doing this by moving the file so I'm going to use the command move mv followed by the file I want to rename followed by the name of the new renamed file let's say uh, new file ls and as you can see there is no file anymore there is just new file um, same contents but different name cut new file it's just like right click cut right click paste uh, but uh, with right click and re rename all in one step okay now as you want to delete the file if you want to delete the file you can use the command rm remove the file okay followed by the file name new file press enter and to verify this as you can see there is no new file anymore now beware of this and please notice that there is no way to recover this file anymore there is no recycle bin in terminal so this file is gone for good okay let's move backwards now as you can see I'm using CD space followed by two dots in order to move up one level in my directory so I'm now in home slash drpaneas let's go a little back now I am at home okay let's go back and now I am in the slash or root directory now as you can see these are the contents of the root directory if you want to go quickly into your home directory you can do this you can go cd enter and now I am inside my home uh, directory another way to do this let's go back to cd slash as you can see I'm back to root directory if another way to go quickly into your home directory is using cd and the um, the tiled or tilde I don't know how it is pronounced right and press enter as you can see here I am again inside slash home slash Dr. Parneas my home directory let's go back and show you the third way which is the most uh, obvious way to use the full path okay home dr Parneas uh, and I am again inside my home directory or I don't I think you can use this one using the home uh, global variable using the dollar sign in front of it and you can see again I'm in my home directory okay now uh, let's rename a directory 
Renaming a directory is like renaming a file. So, for example, as you can see, I have a folder here. Let's rename our folder 3 to folder 5. So, again, renaming in Linux is like moving things. So, folder 3, rename it, rename it into folder 5. Uh, five. List, and as you can see here, the folder 3 has been successfully renamed into folder 5. Now let's delete a directory. Like files, you use the remove command, but now you are going to use the remove dir, remove directory command. And let's remove folder 5. ls, and as you can see, folder 5 has been deleted. Again, there is no recycle bin to restore any file from it. Uh, notice here that the rmdir command works only for empty directories. If the directory includes anything inside of it, you couldn't remove dir this command. For example, let's take a look at the ls folder. There is nothing here, so let's go into the folder and create one file. I'm going to use the touch command in order to create an empty and plain text file. Let's say file. As you can see here, there is a file, but there is nothing. There, there, there are no contents inside of it. Okay, so go back and now folder is not empty anymore. So if I try to remove the folder, remove the fail to remove folder. Here it says, sorry for this, this is in Greek language, it says that the directory is not empty. Okay, so you are going to use the rm dash r flag. Using the R flag, which stands for recursive, means please delete the directory along with all of its contents, like fo folders, subfolders, sub subfolders, files, subfiles. Okay, so folder. And to verify that it has been deleted, as you can see here, there is no folder anymore, it has been deleted. Okay, now let's see how you can copy a file. Let's create a file, let's go into folder 2, ls, it's empty, so let's create a file, uh, that's file 1, and in order to copy a file, which stands for right-click, copy, right-click, paste, how to copy and paste a file, it's the same thing. Uh, you can use the copy command, cp, followed by the file you want to copy into the location you want this file to be copied. Let's say file 2. And now I have two files two files with the same contents but uh, with uh, but from one place to another there are two different locations two different locations but the content is the same uh, both files have no content inside of them but if they had the content will be copied also as well Okay, now let's remove the files. Let's remove the file 2. Okay, file 2 has been removed. And let's see something else. Let's see how you can uh, go into the CD root. Now I'm into the root directory. And here, if you are going into my videos here at unixman.com we're going to talk about the Etsy directory see the Etsy and here is a list 
with all the configuration files in Linux. If there is anything you want to be configured, it is located here, like Apache, SSH, networking, message of the day, MOTD, uh, whatever. They are all located into, into the Etsy directory. For example, SSH, now there are all the configuration files for my SSH. I can even uh, um, configure or manipulate my services. Service SSH restart, uh, ah, SSHD, sorry, in order to restart my SSH server permission denied because I'm no root but using the sudo command I can ask my friend root to do something for me and as you can see here I have re just restart my SSH server everything is inside the Etsy directory all the configuration files of Linux are located here let's go back and the other directory I'm going to talk to you about is the far directory which stands for variable it uh, let's go inside var and ls as you can see here there are all these kinds of files and folders that are changing frequently and this is the lib the libraries and the log Okay, let's go to logs. And here are all the monitoring of your Linux system. If you are not familiar with this location, you better be. Because using this directory, you will be able to troubleshoot and figure out all the problems related with your Linux system. Okay, guys, I think now you are more comfortable to uh, mess around with your terminal, create files, copy files, cut, rename, move, create directories, delete directories, and whatever. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. For more, for more information, please go at unixman.com. Thank you.